Hey everyone, we're just going to do a reading, see what comes out, you know, pull the cards. You have Ritual, Interference, and Hero. So, I feel like you guys, um, with the Ritual card, either you guys have been, you know, making your own little rituals here, or you're being asked to kind of do this, okay? It says, important rituals are being emphasized. This can manifest in the form of habits, sacred ceremony, spell work, prayer, and vigils. The power of intention is immense. Is immense. Set intention for a desired outcome. For rituals already cast, the outcome is on its way. Miracles, blessings, and answers are being made manifest, okay? So, I feel like you guys have been really trying to, you know, make sure that you guys are doing everything the right way, right? And I do see on, on the bottom of my deck is the Ten of Swords, okay, the Fool and the Chariot. Wow, okay, I, I was only going to pull this, but these two also fell out. So, you guys may be going through an ending of something, and it's like you guys are taking a leap of faith towards something um, new, right? But with the in Interference card, I am going to clarify that, okay? This could be allowing your pain or your thoughts to kind of like stop you here right stop you from moving forward the interference let's see the queen of cups the three of swords yeah there's definitely um and the nine of swords and the four of swords you guys may be i don't know but it's to me this is like you guys may be wanting something so bad but then it's like in your mind you may not feel like you deserve it or that you're able to accomplish it or you may not feel like things are going to go your way you know, the King of Wands in reverse, this is like blocked vision or having a hard time trying to make up a plan here. What? Mom, what's it called? Um... One second. Sorry, for, for those of you guys who don't know, I have five kids. So I'll probably like have to post the video like a 50 bazillion times because they're going to keep on, you know, interrupting, but it's normal. Um, so the King of Wands in reverse. So I did check and you had the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? And the Ten of Wands upright. So this is all internal stuff. I feel like maybe you guys feel like you're lacking something. Maybe you guys are lacking energy. You guys could be going through a divorce. Ten, ten. You know, the Fool, the Chariot, moving on, something's ending, something's beginning. The King of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse, both of these are about like, you know, this could be like a, a soul contract that has ended, or this could be a career that you guys have put your heart and soul into, but it's like it's no longer of value to you, or it's no longer interesting to you, right? And with the three, of, all these cards, all these are, are your mind, right? Swords are about your thoughts and your mind you know, and your words. So I feel like you guys are really stressing out over this interference over whatever this is that's blocking you. And if this is yourself and you're like telling your, if there's like, let's say you have a goal in mind and you're like, nope, that's never going to happen. Well, then you're going to attract exactly that. So, you know, it's really important for you guys to Go where you're being called to go, but then also have faith in yourself that you're going to be able to accomplish your goals, even if there's things that are blocking you, even if there's blockages. It doesn't mean that it's not meant for you, right? It just means maybe you're going to have to figure out a way to get around this. This might be something that, you know, is along your path that you're going to have to learn. It doesn't mean to give up. It doesn't mean to let go, right? The Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This could be a business that you're starting or you're starting something brand new that has a lot of security and a lot of stability. This is going to be long term security, money, um, something you can touch or grasp or something that you can rely on. OK, so I don't. And it's funny because it's not funny, but I see in the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. The only thing I don't see is the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after emotional fulfillment. So maybe you guys feel like you guys are lacking that. Like maybe you guys are feeling like you're lacking love or you're lacking, the, you know, having somebody make you feel important or being able to make somebody else feel important. I feel like you guys are lacking the love, right? There's only the queen of cups. So you guys may be feeling alone. It's like you have your cup here, right? Just waiting. And it's like, nobody's coming. But I do feel like, you know, if you guys are feeling like you're being blocked from whatever this is, does not have to be a love situation. It could be money. It could be, you know, doing better for yourself. This could even be depression. I do feel like you guys will be able to figure out when you guys are taking a break from people, places, and things, just working on yourself, sometimes you need to just sit there and be. And I feel like just doing nothing is going to be the thing that maybe you got to do it like 20 times. But sit there and do nothing and 
you will figure it out. You have to go within for answers, but you also have to trust yourself when you're going within. You have the Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are investing yourselves into something. This could be into your career. This could be um, King of Pentacles clarifying that. So this could be investing more into yourself, investing more into your confidence. This is also somebody that doesn't like to step outside their comfort zone. They like things the way that they are because maybe not because it's comfortable and it makes them happy, but it's something that they know what to expect, right? So it's like you guys also may be holding on to something that isn't really serving you because you kind of know, like, let's say you're in a relationship, but you've been there for 20 years and it's like, you know that you want to leave. There's no love there, right? It's, it's, it could be a lot of backstabbing or a lot of disappointments and a lot of setbacks here and just feeling alone. I feel like you feel alone. And so I do feel like you guys may need to, um, and it's like, I feel like you guys just know what to expect there. Even though you may not be happy there, it's just like, okay, this is what it is, but you know, you can handle it because you've been handling it for so long. But life doesn't have to be that way. You have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You have the Three of Wands. So I feel like you guys are waiting to, like, reach your goals or waiting to kind of, like, get something. But I feel like you guys got to go out and get it, okay? But, like I said, I'm going to clarify the Three of Swords. The King of Swords. I'm telling you, this is the way you guys are thinking. I don't feel like you guys are trusting what it is that you're able to create for yourself, Okay? You guys might be focusing on all the losses. Let's say you got your business and it was like really thriving and then boom, COVID hit and then it goes downhill, right? You guys might be focused on all the negatives instead of focusing on, well, okay, I still have a roof over my head. I still have food to put in my stomach. What are the things that you're grateful for, right? That's what we got to start thinking about. We can't just focus on all the negatives. If we focus on all the negatives, that's all we're ever going to tend to see and that's all we're going to ever get. And that just makes our life harder. So I do feel like you guys have to have more confidence within yourself that you're going to be able to get whatever it is that you want, right? Nothing is impossible unless we see it as that. So I do feel like spirit really wants you guys to, you know, maybe take some time and meditate. Take some time to yourself. The Knight of Wands, follow your heart. The Ace of Swords in reverse. See, this is what I'm saying. So whoever this is for, now this isn't going to resonate for everybody, but whoever this resonates for, with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of, you guys literally have almost all the swords. You could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or even one of your important placements could be your Sun, Rise, and Venus could be an air sign. But I do feel like you guys are really, especially Libra, Hold on. Yes. Yeah, whoever, sorry guys, whoever this is for, it's like a lack of, of vision or a lack of faith in yourself or just not being able to see a clear path forward. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but like before you could create it into your life, you have or reality, you have to create it in your mind. So if you're thinking like uh, about a business that you want to create and all you're thinking of is crashing down or it never really gets anywhere, guess what? That's what's going to happen. But if you can imagine in your mind, okay, you know, it's going to be this, the business is going to be thriving. I'm going to have, you know, blah, 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 this is gonna be blah, blah. You just picture it in your mind as if you're already there. So this way you could create it into your reality. Okay. I do feel like maybe you guys are stuck. Maybe it's your environment. If you guys are going through an ending here right now, maybe it's really hard for you guys to focus on like a new future to see like what it would be, especially if you guys been with somebody for so long or been in a certain place for so long. And that's all that basically all that you guys know. It might be really scary to start over again, but I do feel like there's something within you that wants to go and is kind of ready to go, but it's, I feel like you just can't see it right? You just can't see it. You have why chopped wood. Some of you guys are feeling like, why do you guys always feel like you get like the short end of the stick? Why? And you have come to the edge in reverse. Like all my, okay, I was going to say my whole deck's upside down, but thinker in reverse. Do you see what I'm saying? Thinker in reverse. I feel like you guys are having a hard time trying to figure out what it is that you guys want. I feel like you just want peace. You just want serenity. But sometimes we got to create it for ourselves. And if you guys are constantly thinking negative, you're going to make your life even worse. Believe me, I've been there. That's the reason why I say it all the time. Our mind creates our reality. I know it's probably annoying for me to keep on saying it, but I just want to make sure that you guys are hearing me 
because if it's something that little, right, retraining our brain just every time we catch ourself thinking negatively to switch it to a positive, go do something that we like to do. Take our mind off the negativity. Don't stay in that space for too long. It's okay to be upset, but it's not okay to stay there forever, right? That's kind of when we block ourselves. So I do feel like maybe the reason why you guys are, we can, we'll, we'll clarify this. Why do you always get the short end of the stick? The star. You're a healer. You're a light worker. Light workers do not have it easy. The hangman. You may have been teased or used or taken advantage of. You may have felt like the black sheep in the family. Maybe you felt like just nobody understood you or you didn't fit in. You could have been abused or used or walked all over, right? This was something that made you wiser. Okay, now, now you guys are somebody who could see things from a different perspective. You guys can see, maybe even see into the future. Some of you guys have psychic dreams, right? But I do feel like, and you guys may pity people for being the way that they are too with the hangman, right? It's like you guys may look at people and be like, I don't understand why they're like that. You may actually like, instead of wanting to curse the money out, you may actually like pray for them or just be like, okay, well, they must have suffered from something. Like, I feel like you guys see the deeper meaning of things. And the reason why you guys have to go through the shit that you guys go through, because you guys, and even the hero card that I've never even spoken about, I feel like you guys are a light worker. And it's like, you guys are a lot of people's heroes. It says you're on a hero's journey and the hero of the journey is you. Be brave, patient, and make calculated moves. Be discerning about others around you. You cannot go to war with somebody else if you don't give them one. Don't let anybody bait you to get you to fight. Rise above the storm. Don't give in to anger. Show wisdom. So, and I feel like that's what you guys are doing. It's like you're no longer feeding into drama. It's like you rather just, you just sit on the side and watch, right? Or you'll just walk away. You have the lover's card. Three major arcanas. I feel like this was something to make you realize who you are to know your worth and it's like you know the people that are in your life are probably really important to you because you just don't waste your time with anybody right i feel like you guys you guys are very strong-minded people you're very pure so basically i feel like you guys are sent into other people's lives to kind of show them how to see things differently you may notice um the people that you are around right um let's say in the past and then you leave them like they may even be a different person after leaving you because I feel like you're kind of here to help open up people's eyes to see things differently. I do feel like um, whatever it is that you guys have been through, you it's made you a, um, a better person, right? And I do feel like you guys even think different than most people. Like your mind does not think the way other people do, right? You have communication, Listen and speak with greater care. I feel like this has also been something that's taught you how to have empathy for other people and to understand other people. Even if they don't say anything, I feel like you just energetically can read them or intuitively you know about, you know, you can understand, right? Yeah, I don't understand that word. It's a flower, nasturtium, weird grounding. <laughs> the beginning is where you need to be. And yeah, I feel like you guys are holding on to um, blocking and ending and then once you guys let go i feel like you guys are going to take off i'm literally seeing like a cupid with a arrow and letting it go with the bow and arrow right and it's like so i feel like once you guys let go it's going to be like you're <laughs> going to take off okay spirit wants you to start something new here if you guys are being called to start your own business, if you guys are being called to leave a difficult, toxic relationship behind, if you guys are being called to leave a dead-end job behind, if you guys are being called to change, whatever this is, go ahead and do it because I feel like this is going to bring you guys to a more peaceful life, okay? I'm going to pull a couple of these cards. Guilty. Yeah, three of swords, seven of swords. I mean, three of swords, ten of swords, resistance. You guys are definitely resisting an ending, okay? You have clarity. So there could be some type of clarity that comes out about somebody or this has already happened. And if that happens, I feel like that's because spirit is making sure you guys get the answers that you need to get. So there is no doubt in your mind when you walk away from this that you made the right decision, okay? You have king of fire. You guys could be dealing with a fire sign or you could be a fire sign. Okay, but this is about um, displaying traits of passion, intensity, creativity, love for the community, leadership, 
protecting yourself, you know, transformation and investment. I feel like, like I said earlier, you guys are investing in something or you're about to, or you're being called to do this. Okay. I do feel like there's a lot of abundance that's coming into this. Okay. It says it's time to take that leap to the next step, invest in yourself and others and the dreams that you've been working to materialize. This is a good omen for your financial circumstances. Make the necessary changes to help your wealth grow. Invest in your education, career, home, family, spiritual work, business, or creative projects. So if you guys need clarity on that, I feel like Spirit is saying yes. Because you keep on getting a lot of cards that are in reverse when it comes down to moving forward. Or you got something where you're holding on to something. But I, I'm telling you, if you guys were to let this go, even if it's doubt or fear, if you guys were to let this go... You would thrive, okay? There's long-term stability. There's security coming in for you, right? Um, I do not feel like you guys are going to regret walking away. You have the tower. Remember I was just mentioning the tower earlier? Well, I was about to. I was like, it's like you guys are blocking a tower moment. It's like there's going to be some type of sh sudden shock or sudden ideas right with the clarity the tower could also be about a sudden like epiphany here so i feel like you guys are going to figure it out the two of cups in reverse yeah <clears throat> wherever you're at you're getting ignored it's not getting reciprocated i feel like you have this big ass heart all this love to give all this you know <clears throat> whatever it is that you have inside of you it's like you know that you don't deserve whatever it is that you guys are going through you may be even holding on to somebody from the past that you're not even with and then not allowing yourself to date anybody because you're waiting for the specific person. I feel like there's something that needs to end to be let go of so this way you can live your life in peace, live your life happily, okay? A strong sense of security once you let this go. And I feel like that's what you guys are worried about. And there's peace, right? So it's like, just trust yourself. Unfinished symphony. Yeah, and that's a 10 card as well, too. So it's like, not for you. You know what I'm saying? So there's something that you guys are holding on to, whatever this is, and it's just, it's not working. You guys got to let this go. When you let this go, you will reach your goals, okay? Whatever it is that you're trying to invest in will grow. Make sure that you guys are investing your time, love, energy, money into the things that you want. Okay, because I do feel like you guys might be dealing with somebody in work, family, love, whatever, to where it's like there could be people talking shit on you, lying about you, mistreating you, backstabbing you, not giving you your full of whatever it is that you deserve, right? Sometimes I can't think of my words. <laughs> my brain goes too fast. I can't keep up. But I do feel like, like I said, you're not getting what it is that you need where you're at. So... I feel like spirit wants you to really listen to your intuition here, okay? This is about balancing your emotions, taking the time that you need, thinking things, you know, through, and going where your heart is leading you, even if it's hard, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.